Hey, how's it going? Um, this is a little hobby I picked up as a kid. You know, old boys growing up, always burning things with magnifying glass. Well, figured out that you could also burn images in wood. Uh, what you do, you just basically get a wooden plaque anywhere, arts and crafts store or whatever. Um, sketch out a design, whatever you want to burn. Uh, sometimes it helps the areas that you're going to be burning in with black. You shade in so you know what you're actually burning so you don't burn what you're not wanting to. So just a little reminders here and there. Um, then basically you want to get the sun behind you. Um, use your magnifying glass. Uh, put it over the surface of the wood trying to get the dot of the sun as small as possible. That's going to be the hottest and as soon as you see the wood start to turn black you just start moving the magnifying glass. So, like right here, uh, hardest part is getting your eyes to adjust to the brightness. Um, you just want to start on a main area that you're going to be shading in black until your eyes focus on the dot and then As the wood starts burning, just move downward. And it's kind of like a, a Sharpie on a napkin, how uh, when you put a Sharpie on a napkin, it'll bleed. So if you leave the, the sun in one spot too long, it'll kind of bleed out into the wood, which is okay for areas that you're filling in. But if you want to do more detailed areas, like uh, fine lines, you almost want to treat it like a, a, a paintbrush, where you would start, and then as soon as you see the, the wood start to burn, kind of just give it a little brush stroke, if you will. And then that'll give you a little more finer line, for there's more detailed areas. Yeah, that's basically the gist of it right there, but, I mean, anybody can do this. I've been doing this since I was a kid. Uh, here's a couple things that I've done in the past. Basically, you could get Im images from uh, the computer and just print them out. And maybe just freehand stencil it onto the wood and then just start burning away. Yeah, I thought this was a pretty unique art style, but then I looked up on YouTube, saw several videos of people doing the same. So I guess I'm not the only one out there. But it's definitely a time-consuming hobby. Most of these uh, pieces took at least an hour, sometimes over two hours with all the shading and detail. Um, my advice, breathe out, blow the smoke away from you, and invest in some sunscreen. Oh, good luck.